I've been feeling like I ain't high yet. Still I'm on this jet, wrecking my ledge. They tell me no my road or get silence. Whoa, I'm a survivor. Feeling the hurt it worse since I've been cursing, cursed with burdens. Feelings immersed in verses, mercy, churches, blurred on hearses, murdered in curse of worship, service, death, a certain devil, worship and sermons, blur the chorus as these Norsemen of my core march for war. Whoever sees this and subscribes right now, get a free broom. Handle not included. Discount for witches and wizards. What's going on, YouTube? It's Morley Knox Hill, and we are back. We are back with our reaction series. So today, today, man, it is Monday. Our day to get our passports out and travel international waters. And I couldn't be more excited. It feels like Christmas morning right now because, yes, I am well aware. Stray Kids has dropped a brand new song and music video. This right here right now is none other than S-Class. But before we get any further, listen, I want to give a quick shout out to that track in the intro. If you guys like that, yes, I'm a rapper myself. There's a good chance to like my breakdowns. Whether I think about music, you'll probably like my music as well. I have an album, Butterfly Effect. Shout out on iTunes. I'm very, very proud of it. You want to support me and support channel directly? I'll put the links to that below. Also, shout out to the Patreon. Patreon family. Exclusive reactions and content on there. A great way to support the channel. A lot of cake pop related content on there. Again, all links down below. But anyways, anyways, you know what we're here for. Stray kids. Step back up to the plate. Let's see what you got. One. What is this, a movie? Wow. I'll tell you what, you talk about misdirections in such a short span of time. If you have ADHD, you are going to love Stray Kids because they are just all over the place with the production and musicality. And I love how dramatic it is. We open up and you feel like there's going to be this epic dropping because that's kind of the way that the tempo is building and what it's leading you towards. And instead of just happening like this epic drop in, you slow it back down you gotta pace it back out check this out man and the visuals of this are absolutely incredible with the lighting and how they set up these transitions like notice how there's limited lighting behind them you can see the cityscape and the skyline of the city and everything lights up right there notice how the camera just dramatically pans backwards and this is soul city that is a statement to make <laughs> A special star rises amongst the hidden stars. I take that as, you know, there's a lot of people who have had miracles who have made it in the industry, but we are a special star that has risen even above and beyond all of that. And see how it just kind of just drops back down right here and you just get that like pulsating synth bounce and harmony like you expect it all just to wind down and then have like an epic percussive drop in and just kick and everything to go ham but instead it's like no let's reel you back in real quick that's really cool that just like impact and you watch how the lighting just the special effects man video production is on another level already and i love the synchronization with the sound production what in the london is happening there we got a wedding cake on the right like we we are all over the place what is that little like creature in the middle that looks like uh my old teddy bear i used to sleep with tmi That's a bar from Han right there. I love that. A can that's shiny on the outside, empty on the inside. And that could be shots fired at the industry in general and like chasing these shiny objects and this glamour and a lot of the shallow music that's getting made, but there's nothing inside of it when you peel back the layers. Stray kids give you those layers. And then I take like the street and notice like the different... It seems just like totally randomized, right? Like the different images, the the wedding cake that I pointed out, the dude in London, basically with the hat on riding the horse. But to me, I take that as like all of this kind of noise, like this creative noise in the streets, just clear it out. You know, we're, we're not dealing with the distractions. We're not dealing with the shiny. We're going to continue on our own lane and continue down our own path. And again, these transitions are smooth I'm as hell. Them, like shatter the glass, break the mold right there. I take that as visual symbolism. <laughs> Yeah. What in the 
Dragon Ball Z like spin kick was that? Kick it, kick it, kick it. I love that. And uh, they all train for Taekwondo in Korea, don't they? Yeah. My wife's a uh, fifth degree black belt in that. Swerving and speeding on Serpent Road. Luxurious like coming as class. Best of the best on first yes. class. Yes. I'm up above the world so high I'll be the shiny day and night. They wonder how my spotlight is so bright. Call me star zipper. Wow, I mean the the soundscapes that they create, like even right there when you had like the dramatic brass impact, but they just have so much fun with these pulsating synths and then these different drum kicks, how they come in and out. Like again, you never know what's around the corner with Stray Kids. They really do craft such a unique sound and they love to switch it up so much. Like even with the visuals, again, I love how it all just ties in and comes together. But I take the S class, right? There's a certain tier. So they're beyond the highest tier that you can get to. The best of the best beyond first class. We have a new S class tier that can't even be ranked with these boys. They want to have my spotlight is so bright. But you also think of like a nice whip, like a Mercedes S class. And again, like upping the luxury and just upping the level. And right there, the most special star. The odd one. That's me. I'm the one who stands out from the rest of all these stars in the sky. Wow. What a transition again. They're having so much fun with the lights. Like here. Another example of a background that's not fully lit. And then once you get this brass impact, watch how all the window lights turn red. Right there. That's dope. What? What in the boom bap old school hip hop is happening right here? I mean, it was even, I was going to comment, but I didn't want to pause again on the record scratch, right? Very sort of DJ turntablism right there. And that moment when the beat switches up to a classic boom bap rap beat and Chang Ben just comes in dropping this smooth flow. Look at that. You've even got the graffiti in the background, right? The b-boying. So you've got like the different pillars of hip hop shouting out right here. That is smooth. I take big hip hop steps. Being special is my specialty. And they're literally having hip hop within the production here. That's dope. Nice. That scratching, man, is just so smooth. Da -da 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 -da. That spitter delivery and that just little fast moment from Han. Again, another old school style that he's brought back, man. I love this. Nobody's who look around have a habit. They look around carelessly, have a habit of jumping on anything that's shiny. No. Again, this there's a lot of sort of flex bars. Like, yeah, we stand out from the rest. But I can't help but think that there's also a lot of symbolic shots fired at other artists within the industry who kind of follow the same mold. They just follow what's shiny, what's trendy. And Stray Kids has always like built their pillar and their foundation of music on just standing out and being odd. And it's okay to be different and be comfortable with who you are and your star. Shine like a diamond K, like okay, but also like a K color diamond could be a double right there. That's smooth. And you're still playing off of those who chase after what's shiny. But instead of chasing after something shiny, that's a bar right there. Create your own shine. Create your own art. Don't follow the trends. Set the trends yourself. And even that's a bar right there, swerving. I'm speeding on Serpent Road because like a Serpent Road would be... You know, it, it, it would have the turns like a snake would versus he's swerving in the whip right now. Which represents, again, their path, their own road that they're on. It's not the straight road. It's not the easy road. 
It's a road where they have to swerve a lot and they do a lot of creative things differently. See again, man, it's very carefully constructed lyricism throughout the What just happened here? So high, I'll be the what in the tentacle monster is going on there? This makes me think of like Men in Black with the black suits, right? But he's canceling out. I get it. He's got the noise canceling headphones. And that again to me visually represents like they're just drowning out and blocking all the external noise. They're only listening to their own drum beat, you know, following your own drum line, as the saying goes. That's dope. And I don't know why there's a random tentacle monster here, but I'm okay with it. Wow. What a transition again. This is so wild. Look at that. So we come in with fire, and then this background is going to light up in flames. And then you're going to play off with like the orange and the sharp fire colors. What are all these black hooded figures around them? They're about to just sacrifice all other artists for stray kids. I mean, even this, the thought that goes into this right here is we got a dope little dance sequence, but I love how we just like another dope transition just right there. So we're on him. And then the camera's going to dramatically come backwards to reveal the rest of the group. Look at that. And you still had some of the sparks from the flames that were still a part of this shot. The transitions are so smooth, man. Wow, that was some smooth singing from my end. Notice right there when the clap track hit, that's when the car dropped as well, because the car suspended in the background there. And then we change scenes. My image is embroidered in the sky. That's another bar. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Stick around in the same place. Stay. Yeah? Playing off of them. Stay. Shouting out Stay. Let's go. Again, a lot of these flex bars, you know, being on stage that itself is special already. Shining people, that's our intro, limited edition. Like the whole flexing, but standing out and just following your own path, man. And again, this movie sequence here when we just have like special forces dropping in to try to destroy this tentacle monster i mean that's just that's normal right there that's completely normal for a music video everybody has that in their music videos it just it makes sense what what wow Really dope back and forth, like passing bars right there from Felix and then back, man. I love the chemistry on this. And then I love how like one bar to one bar, one bar to one bar, and then they come together for the last one. What are these graphics? <laughs> Just normal. Wow. You know what else I think is interesting? Because obviously, look behind them. When you have the light pollution from a city, you can't see the stars in the sky. And there's a lot of allegories and imagery 
for shining like a star and really standing out and being your own star. And to me, what all these lights represent, and thank God I don't have epilepsy, but to me, it all comes together to show that they're still shining. Even amongst all these lights in the city, they're still creating their own lights and their own stars. That is dope. Crazy reverb out to end it in the mix. I'll tell you what, man. There is so much detail that goes into these music videos. And shout out to the editors of these videos because some of those visual graphics and CGI transitions were absolutely on point. But I love just the thought process behind the lighting, behind the transitions. Because to me, this vibrance of color that you see in these different scenes and like these out there moments of tentacle monsters and dudes riding horses, drinking cups of tea, just shows like their oddity. And it's an overall reflection of, hey, it's okay to be different. It's okay to be creative. Be comfortable with who you are. Don't follow the shiny trends. Don't follow all those other stars over there. You know, go down your own road and path. It might wind like a serpent. It might not be the natural way you're supposed to go. But that's okay. And that's kind of what Stray Kids stands for. And even though, like, more of this track is like a flexing track of how different they are, and it's shown through the production and all those changes, it's also about them coming together, and they still serve you a message of hope and a message of being comfortable in your own skin. Stray Kids, you are Knoxville certified. Hope you guys like today's video. Let's prepare at the end. Obviously, enjoying the content. Do me a huge favor. Support the channel directly. Subscribe notifications on. It really, really does go a long way. I love you guys. Stay safe, stay positive. It's one and only Knoxville. You know, I'll catch you again.